try to go first? No, ladies <laughs> first. <laughs> okay. Natives first. I see. Hi, I'm Joyce Badgley Hunsaker. I'm a fourth generation Bakerite. I graduated from Baker High School in 1970 and uh, have lived all over, but this has always been home. We've always come back here. My people came over in 1858 and uh, actually went through Baker Valley at the time over to the Grand Ronde. And one of their oxen got mired down in Hot Lake, so they didn't have any way to go forward and they settled there first. But eventually they came back to this valley and then the three generations forward. So um, I'm, I've been here longer than dirt <laughs> and most sagebrush. And as I say, you know, we have lived all over because Dave's job has taken us all over the United States, um, but we always intended to retire here. And that is exactly what we've done. This is home. Over my early life, uh, being in the outdoors and, and having ancestors and relatives that have come and born in the West, it was important to me to work in some kind of field that was outside in the West in a public service setting. My father was uh, in public service uh, and he was in the Marine Corps in World War II. Came home and married my mother and raised five kids. And we had a strong sense of, of public service. My challenges were a little bit more esoteric. When we were growing up, we were still in a generation of once you graduated from high school or college, you, you set yourself on a specific career path and it was pretty linear. People still stayed with companies for their entire working lives, this kind of thing. My biggest challenge was to break the fear factor that I didn't want to do that. I wasn't suited for that. My career path pretty much followed the Montessori model. <laughs> you, you go to what really brings you bliss. Like Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss. If you're good at something and you get joy out of it and it is productive and helps improve where you are, then stick with that until it doesn't work anymore. And maybe, maybe it will be your life path but maybe not. And yet the expectation was there generationally, family-wise, society-wise. You need to buckle down, get yourself entrenched, and then go forward from the increments that are expected. So my challenge was breaking free of the fear of failure and of disappointing others and going with what I felt called to do. And you know, that's something that doesn't always go away. There are still situations that come up at this advanced age <laughs> where our own expectations of ourselves are our most limiting factors. So I would say those were my, my biggest challenges. I think that's a really important point. My father used to give some advice to me periodically when I asked for it. He was of the generation that didn't talk a whole lot. And I asked him about a job one time, and I said, I, I just don't know if I'm ready for this job. It's, it's a pretty big job. And he said, Dave, if you don't have a little bit of fear in the pit of your stomach, you're not pushing yourself far enough. And I've lived by that rule for years, so that was good. And that goes exactly mm -hmm. to what Joyce was saying. When you get to live in a place where people save their money to go visit, you know that you're in the best of all worlds. And having a career that allowed us to move around and work in such places was truly a privilege. And uh, I didn't really appreciate that as much as I could have early on. I was inexperienced and didn't know. But one of the best jobs I ever had was was as a park ranger with the Corps, just starting out. It was on the ground at that level with the public. And, uh, and it, it was different every day. And uh, it was a different culture. To sit on the county courthouse steps in the place where Lincoln and Douglas 
They didn't have their famous debates, but they each spoke there on those exact steps was, was something. So that, that was beginning this awareness of a gr something greater than yourself. And, and it, was, it was amazing. It was a wonderful journey. Be aware of how privileged we are to live the lives we do. Challenges, obstacles, all of it. Because so much of the world doesn't have any inkling of having that. So sure. be grateful, be aware, and go out and do good works because those good works help build communities, regions, worlds. It matters. It's much easier to feel that you have made it if you are outside of your hometown. Your hometown is your base. It is when you get your hometown to celebrate what you do and who you are, you have made it. Because they're your toughest critics. They knew you when. They have expectations of you going back a generation. And when your hometown says, well done, you know that that's real. Whereas you can, you can pull the wool over eyes that people don't know you. You can do that anywhere. But the hometown crowd, that's where it is. You know you've made it when your hometown says, good job. <laughs>